Peace and blessings. How y'all doing out there, YouTube? Christ family. What up? All right. So in um, today's expose, I want to be talking about this film, this Netflix sensation, um, Bird Box. Now, I've been on social, social, uh, <coughs> I've been on social media, um, excuse me, a lot lately. Um, not because I'm just, you know, just this, uh, you know, fanatic of for social media. It's really to, uh, fellowship and do things like this, or, you know, just, um, try to uh, reach the loss, uh, which we are called to do as born again believers. Now, it seems I'm running across so many people um, just raving about this film, you know, and it's, I guess it's gone viral, almost like, um, you know, I don't know if y'all remember a few years back or a year or two, a couple of years back, um, about that ice bucket challenge. Um, <clears throat> you know, it, it it was like those, uh, one of those uh, challenges where everyone um, does something ridiculous and everybody hears about it and they're like, oh, what is this? It piques interest, basically. And, you know, um, all of a sudden, and like within seconds, it's a viral video and uh, you have everybody doing it. It creates a big controversy. Anyway, um, first I want to take a look. You know what? No, I'm gonna say this first. Um, so this vi this, um, this Netflix, it's a Netflix, uh, uh, a Netflix film as far as I'm, um, aware of apparently. And, um, there's an article going around talking about it had 45 million accounts it has viewed it or something ridiculous like that i don't i haven't looked into the the factuality of it or even if that's a word um or the factualness of it you know um but i'm just going to give um give media the benefit of the doubt on this one and take it for face value and say, well, that's pretty ridiculous. 45 million accounts. It's like, man, people, what are you doing with your time? I mean, that's, you know, wow. But anyway, um, so one of my friends on Facebook, commented and said that they spoke on the film and said uh, that they enjoyed it or, or whatnot. This is this friend, friend is an unbeliever. And I replied to her saying that is this film a is it a apocalyptic type film? And her response was, it was about, oh, uh, get this. 
Walking by faith and not by sight. Right? Get, I mean, imagine that, an unbeliever basically quoting the, quoting scripture. <laughs> wow. But, um, I thought that was interesting. And that was a interesting response. <laughs> I'm like, Lord, that's amazing. Um, yeah. So, my intuition was correct because as I've done some research into this film, and yes, the, the film is a, 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 an apocalyptic type um, sort of psychological um, horror thriller type deal. And the basic synopsis is that um, you have a mother, a pregnant mother. Um, they hear a story over in like a foreign country or like, I forget, it was it Russia, something like that. And they, and it comes over to the Western side of things, and it is a well, the, 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 a story about people taking their own lives, and due to some entity entering. I mean, they don't get that right away, and it comes into the west Western part of the world, and it starts to affect that, and um. Now it's this whole, you know, heroin type um, reflective thing. You know, it's it's compared to like other movies, like The Road, and um, I forget the other name of the film. You know, I don't keep track of films too much because I don't even watch films anymore, really. But basically, the the um, the antagonist um, they're described as dark shadows. <laughs> now, where else do you hear about dark shadows, dark figures? Well, every time someone speaks of uh, being harassed or having maybe night terrors or you know some type of conflict that they can't explain during sleeping hours um I mean, you can talk to many psychologists and therapists about this um, very thing where they describe seeing dark shadows. Now, the body of Christ knows, or they should know, or be aware of that, dark shadows are basically demonic entities. So whether these victims know it or not, there are, they're dealing with um, the demonic. And as we know, <laughs> that we battle against not flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. It is what is known as spiritual warfare. I want to take a look at this verse. It 
is 2 Corinthians 4, verse 4. It says this. Whose minds the God of this age has blinded, who do not believe, lets the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. What are we always trying to achieve by preaching the gospel? Shining the light because they walk in darkness. People who unbelieve walk in darkness. Isn't it ironic that in this film, they're wearing blindfolds because the heroine recognizes that once you take one look at this entity, it will enter into your life and you will do things like commit murder, commit homicide, murder, um, suicide, and you know, some, some of the darkest thing, it always involves death. And as we know, as believers, as we should, or we should know, that that is essentially demonic possession. And as Hollywood promotes in films, they promote things of that nature. I don't think most people realize this, is that when you watch a film, and I spoke about this in a recent video that I've done, that you could just check out my channel and look at that video if you like. If not, no, no hard feelings. But Hollywood, through film, can, they use symbology, lots of symbology, through film, when you watch, when you sit down and look at a television or film, um, it affects you, whether you know it or not. And most of the time, they, people don't know it because it is a conscious um, reaction, but subconsciously, you are um, taking on whatever they are intending to get across. So whatever symbology, whatever spirit is behind that film or program, hence program, you're watching will affect you. And it's nothing you can do about it. And they know that. They are well aware of it. This is why they put so much effort in promoting films, managing how much exposure the film receives, and that they um, make sure that it is received, that it has, that it, that it piques interest because they, their, their intent is to, is, is to have you go to the movies, pay a little, your little money, buy a ticket, sit through the entire film because they know that whatever they, their intentions is, whatever they symbolically, um, placed there that it is going to affect you um, and most of the time it's not in a beneficial way but we still don't even get it people still don't even get it and if you tell them that they'll deny it they won't believe it they'll they'll be in total disbelief scripture tells us that in the end times, many people will be deceived. In fact, most people will be deceived, even in the body of Christ. The 
So this is my warning to all those who are believers and unbelievers. Wake up. Realize what kind of time we're living in. I mean, these times are prophetic. Um, people might not want to believe it, but they are. They are prophetic. And we are truly living in the last days. No question about it. So I'm in the vid by saying this. Be vigilant. Stay steadfast. Pray. Because the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And it just may be you. God bless you all.